Uh, my name is Zoe Millett, I'm a producer and journalist for the BBC and at the moment I'm delivering workshops in knowing the difference between real news and fake news. Why do you think this is important to question about fake news? I think it's, it's important that they understand um, it can affect things politically, it can affect how people vote, how people think about various political parties, it can also affect commercially how people end up spending money on things that they don't need to spend money on. We just need to be aware because there's so much fake news about. We are here at BBC Media City for a BBC Real News pop-up event, um, which is a great opportunity for students to come and meet mentors and meet people who work at the BBC and actually get involved in some projects surrounding real news. What's your most important message for teenagers for today? I think the most important message for teenagers is again to use your common sense. Think before you believe anything and think before you share anything. They're currently working in a workshop now where they're working on some new branding because they're no longer going to be calling it a school report because it's being spread out and branched out now to include a lot more um, sort of youth groups and colleges and things like that. So it's quite an exciting time to be here at the BBC and for the pupils to get involved with um, what's going on on the ground. The most interesting pieces are the ones where, where young people, students, explain their world in a way that makes sense to other students and makes sense to adults. And if adults go in listening properly, they'll be surprised, they'll learn something new. For children um, coming out of high school who don't know what they want to do, what, what advice would you give them? It's trying to just gradually find what your real passions in life are, okay? What your interests are and whether your interests could translate into something which is a profession. You know, like mine, my curiosity of the world around me, well, how does that translate into a job? And I think I slowly sort of found my way there, but alongside, once you've got there, Okay, once you've got this idea that perhaps, okay, for me, I want to be a journalist, it's not just about the academic side. I really do think that's, that's one part of the path to get where you want to get to. It has to be about finally demonstrating a passion for that particular role. The more schools we get involved in it, the better. So we have about 800 to 1,000 schools take part each year. That's thousands of young people. So if you're all reporting on these great stories, telling real stories, then that's the best way that we can then share these stories with the wider audience across the world. So you doing a story today, put it onto your school website, we share it, and think of all those people that can then go and see your new story. It's about teaching young people, showing young people how to iron out all the false information, so things that you're seeing on the internet, on social media, whether it be on Snapchat, on Instagram, things that you're sharing via WhatsApp, and how do you know that those stories are true? How do you know that what you're seeing is accurate? We need to kind of make sure that they're not being too naive about what that information is and where it's going and where this data is that they're spreading is actually going out into the world. Um, so yeah, hopefully they're going to come away with a really good idea about how to be a lot smarter about the news and where they're getting it from.